there's still not a lot of people, a lot of outlets talking about Cardano. And that's okay. But slowly but surely, people are realizing that Cardano is a great solution for all the problems that exist in the crypto ecosystem. Now, actually recently, a prominent NFT collector announced on Twitter that they were switching over to Cardano. And they highlighted six key reasons why they were doing this. Now, Cardano's scalability was the first thing that was highlighted. Ethereum obviously has limitations with, with scalability. Obviously, it led to slow transaction speeds, high costs, and this just simply isn't the case on Cardano. And with future rollouts like Hydra and Midnight, this will be even less of a problem or even a possibility of a problem down the road. The way that Cardano is built can handle this mass adoption that we're likely going to see over these next two market cycles. Now, Cardano's sustainability was also talked about as well. And this has to do with how energy efficient it is. Even today, it's more efficient than Ethereum's proof of stake model. And although for some people that's kind of a nothing burger, like most of us don't really care about that, you got to remember, there is regulation that is going to be coming at some point in time and something that the regular regulators are focusing on, the regulators, <laughs> something they're focusing on is this energy efficiency. There may be some that just are going to be regulated into oblivion because of how energy inefficient they are. Cardano already handles this, this problem. Now, the research-driven nature of Cardano's development grounded in academic research and peer-reviewed <clears throat> papers was another reason cited. All right, a lot of people say that this is a negative thing about Cardano, but if you look at the foresight that Hoskinson and the Cardano, the IOG team, have had to build Cardano the way it is, this research, these peer-reviewed papers, they were all necessary in getting to this point. There's a reason why nobody else has done the the way done it the way Cardano has. It's it's not the easy way to do it. All right, I will tell you guys that. There's a lot easier ways to launch and build a blockchain than the way that Cardano Cardano is doing it. However, when we talk about sustainability, when we talk about growth and adoption, the way that Cardano has built this entire chain, it's been centrally focused around that, and sustainability is a key part of that. It's going to be able to sustain the mass amounts of people that are coming in. It's going to be able to handle really anything that is thrown its direction. Now, financial inclusion is another reason <clears throat> that, that this uh, NFT collector has switched over as well. We talk about banking the unbanked, connect, banking the unbanked, all right? Connecting the unconnected. That's a big focus of what Cardano is doing. Not only that, but they're focused on education, teaching people about blockchain, teaching people about Cardano, this is what they're doing in Africa. It's what they're doing in Thailand. And it'll likely continue to happen in other areas abroad as well. You know, education is a big thing because a lot of people don't understand blockchain and how it works. I mean, even myself, before I got into crypto, even when I got into crypto, I still didn't understand how crypto and blockchain worked. It took a lot of time to, to do so. But if you teach people early and show why it is a good solution, the mass adoption for crypto is going to come even faster than people may expect. And people will actually be educated in the space too. That's a good one. Now this one, the Alonzo upgrade was mentioned. It brings smart contract capabilities. Obviously, there's smart contract capabilities on Ethereum, but it's cheaper to build on Cardano. That's why it naturally, again, becomes a good solution. This kind of goes back to the first one. And lastly, Cardano's focus on interoperability, which excuse me, aims to connect with other blockchains and legacy systems, sets it apart. They believe this aspect is crucial for seamlessly integrating cryptocurrencies with broader financial ecosystems. If you guys haven't paid attention, this has been a huge focus for Cardano lately is this interoperability. They want to become the internet of blockchains. They want to be able to seamlessly connect everything. Cardano will essentially be the hub through which all things run. All right. We're talking about NFTs. We're talking about payment systems. We're talking about metaverse. We're talking about all things web three and to seamlessly integrate web two and web three together. That's what the focus has always been. And there are those now, again, that are finally starting to realize this. Whether the masses will do it now, months from now, years from now, obviously we don't know, but the time is coming. So appreciate you guys as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely show your support below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. Stay updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. Hope you have a great day and I hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.